Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here. And today, you probably noticed something. Why are you in first person? Because we are staying in first person for the entire game. Well, not entire game, but the entire video we are staying in first person. We're not allowed to leave. We're not allowed to press right on the D-pad and come out. Nope, we are forcing ourselves to stay in a cockpit view or first person view. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new, as it does help out the channel massively. But let's get straight into it, shall we? So, yeah, we're going to go into any event and we're going to turn the cockpit view on. Locks the camera view to interior mode and we can't exit out of it at all in any event. So we can't press right on the D-pad to come out of it. This is going to be very interesting and... Yeah, let's just see if it is more difficult, shall we? Because it probably is more difficult. And also as well, we are going to be doing it in sort of multiple videos. So this video is just for street racing and uh, maybe hypercar, I don't know. But I want to do one for every discipline. So yeah, we'll have a video out for every discipline, even boats and planes. So let's just get straight into it. Enough of me talking. Let's just get straight into our first event, which is this one over here. Uh, a nice short event um, we're going to change to it's a lamborghini event so let's go for a lamborghini um let's go for a yeah a reventon i don't like the reventon but we'll use the reventon it's nice and green let's make sure we are definitely locked in cockpit view we are and uh five out of five event difficulty let's see if we can complete this event on time and let's just not crash because I have a feeling I'm going to crash quite a lot. Here we go, straight into cockpit view. I, I have not tried uh, cockpit view really at all in any event. This is, what's going on? Okay. Just about, wow. Almost, almost didn't get that there. I was panicking quite a lot there. <laughs> okay, we're off now, hopefully. But yeah, the vehicle, I mean, still feels fine. As you know, it doesn't. It's a event on. It doesn't feel fine at all. It's just I'm trying to get to grips with the handling and seeing stuff because it's hard to judge a turn when you're in first person mode. I know people obviously don't drive with a camera on top of their car and drive like that in real life. Imagine that. Like everyone drove in third person. That would be pretty, pretty dangerous, I think. But. <laughs> It'd be pretty sick at the end of the day. Every car just had like one big camera, like the Google, um, the Google um, Earth van or map van, whatever. I mean, we're getting to grips with it. It's just more the event one with traffic, and two the events with other AI players because we don't know if they're gonna hit into us from the side or behind, or it's gonna be hard to know where traffic's coming from. Or even like events where there's quite a lot of turns and like other stuff, like jumps and stuff. Like imagine like a Jim Carner, is it Jim Carner or a Hoonigan event? One of them events would be hell in uh, in first person or a drift event. That would be very difficult, and I'm not even looking excited to that at all. Or the plane events, or the boat events, none of them. I'll be honest, so far it isn't too bad. I just need a more difficult event, I think. So yeah. We are definitely going to try out another hypercar event. Uh, we'll go into the streets or something and we'll see if we can dodge the traffic and anticipate the turns in a proper street circuit. But let's first finish this event. I think we're going to finish it in time. This one, well, this checkpoint is quite far away. But as you can see, yeah, I am uh, I'm not staying on the road all that much. I would definitely be staying on the road a lot more in third person, but I'm doing the best I can. And we have finished the event in one piece. So let's get to that second event and let's see if we struggle any more. Right, the art of Honolulu. Who is that man in front of us? I don't know. I have no clue who that is. But yeah, let's get into this event custom. And yeah, that's all good. Just to make sure, copy view on. Let's get into it. Oh, I picked the wrong vehicle. I've picked the wrong vehicle again. Let me be back in a second. I don't know why I do that every single time. I do that every time 
I always forget to pick a vehicle, but now it's fine. We should be in the LaFerrari and we are. Let's get straight back into cockpit view, shall we? And we do have people with us this time, so this might be a little bit more interesting. The vehicles do sound very nice though, in fact. <laughs> okay, let's not do that again. But yeah, what I was saying is the vehicles actually sound really, really nice in first person because you get the actual sound of being in the vehicle like in real life, which obviously you want because the sound you get from the third person view is just what you'd hear if it drove past, whereas this feels like you're actually driving the vehicle, which is a lot nicer in my opinion. In my opinion, what is going on here? What is going on? <laughs> this is a mess. This is genuinely a, a... Why is it stuck me like that? Right, let's do that again. This is a mess. This is genuinely a big, massive mess. And it goes to show that it's actually not easy to drive in first person. It's not easy to drive this fast in real life, so... Now you probably know why so many people crash their cars when driving like this. But look at this. How are you supposed to know what what like what has happened there? What even has happened there? Why is he upside down? Why is he bouncing around? Is everyone in first person like what is going on with this game? <laughs> I'm lost. Let me just get the jump. I've never used a rewind feature this much. Like where am I? Right, let's do this again. Everything is just going crazy. Everyone's crashed. This is genuinely the weirdest I've ever seen the AI drive. They've never been this bad. Like, they are just flipping over and spinning out and crashing into each other. I've never seen them like this. Look, I'm pretty much guaranteed at least third now. There's something going on. I don't know why they're acting like they drive in third person like they they're ai they drive in first person well the first thing we've noticed is the ai forget how to drive in first person when you turn it on and the second thing is you literally have no idea what your vehicle's doing after time and it's quite hard to anticipate a turn i mean it probably would help if i actually knew how to drive in real life but i don't i would actually be able to bring some basic etiquette into this game but yeah I don't know how to drive so that's probably a uh, a fault on my end why I am not the greatest driver in first person but it even make any difference because you obviously aren't going 240 miles per hour in real life if you are then how are you an F1 driver that's a bit annoying I've just let this guy overtake me which means I'm not gonna get third unless I do a manoeuvre on him. We're going to rewind that. Do a manoeuvre on him. Which hasn't worked either. No, we are just getting last. Not last. Fourth. But we'll take it. We had a very interesting race there. Wasn't a normal day, was it? That was one of the uh, the funniest and strangest races I've ever, ever had in this game. But yeah, that was first person driving with hypercars in the Crew Motorfest. Very very strange the first event i mean i thought i had it under control but the second event everything just came crumbling down even the ai they were flipping each other over and doing all sorts so yeah very very uh very hard i think you definitely need to get used to it especially if you haven't used first person before and can we just pay attention to the mirrors ubisoft you've made hang on we you've made this you've made the vehicles look so nice, you've made the sun look nice, you've made the scenery look amazing. Like, let me just zoom out on the map. The water looks incredible, the beaches look incredible. It's a small, tiny map. And you leave us with mirrors that... Why? San Andreas mirrors, why? Literally, San Andreas. They have better mirror mechanics in PS2 games, why have you given us this bog standard 
no detail whatsoever. This this game needs good mirrors. Well, it doesn't need good mirrors, but you know, with everything else in this game, good mirrors is probably the like the last thing you could actually have. Look, you've even got the engine moving, but you can't do the mirror. It's Ubisoft. What do I expect? But yeah, first person mode in the Crew Motor Fest, definitely, uh, definitely a strange one. Definitely a strange one, but um, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, then I would suggest trying it for yourself to see what you think of it. But yeah, that has been first person driving with hypercars. Definitely a strange experience, but if you have used first person or used first person in the Crew Motor Fest, tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section. And way down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video.